I want to just end uh, with the continuation of, of this topic that's been discussed. A couple of my colleagues suggested that, uh, that there were service members who uh, were being uh, somehow uh, uh, persecuted because of their political beliefs or their ideological beliefs. And uh, I, I want to, first of all, thank you for noting that the attack on the Capitol on January 6th was an attack on the Constitution. Uh, we do need to understand what happened. Uh, it was an attack provoked by the Commander in Chief. He could have immediately intervened to stop it, and he didn't. Uh, I think it's very important for us to recognize and understand uh, who was in the Capitol that day and why. Uh, and we have to protect the First Amendment rights of our service people, no doubt. Uh, but it's also critically important that we remind everybody uh, that uh, the UCMJ makes it a crime to engage in sedition or mutiny or to seek the violent overthrow of the United States government. So I would urge, as you are focused on uh, getting to the bottom of what happened. We need to do the same here, uh, but we really need to focus on, on that piece of this uh, as well. And with that, I yield back.